Hello everybody, welcome back to Third Total War Divide and Conquer. My name is Saf and I am back bringing you a new episode for the Gondor campaign. So right now I am overlooking Hisalion, uh, one of our Gondor generals. He is leading a rather large troop towards Anulond. We're hoping to retake that in today's episode. I have regained a bit of, a bit of territory. I basically... I say I've regained a bit of territory. I've regained possession of my force. I never technically lost possession, but I was never really able to garrison them. But now I can garrison them and I can gain quite a bit of free upkeep from that. So, to start off this episode, I'm going to be trying to get rid of Captain Sion. He's got uh, 202 Grey Flood Raiders, some Angren Raiders, and some Grey uh, Flood Riders. So we can clear those guys out of the way. I can then push on towards Anulond and hopefully we can take that later on today as well. Um, apart from that, not really much else going on over on that side. Over to the east, however, we have Minas Ithil under siege. We have Othrond Tur under siege. Uh, we ransacked uh, Estolad last episode. Got quite a bit of money for it, but I've uh, decided to commit my money towards what was i building i was building a barracks at Henethanun and also at kirithalion two more turns for the one at minas ithil as well also that i can get some minas ithil guardians at some point in about 20 odd turns which will be great when i can actually get those uh they are under siege I'm by not a well, it's, a, it's a big army but it's not heavy so hopefully we can do enough damage to that force Plenty of archers to do quite a bit of damage as well. Uh, oh yeah, Minas Tirith is under siege as well. I forgot about that. Har Harad is attacking it. So we should get a few sieges in today as well. Depending on how much time I have. But hopefully I can record for quite a bit. So let's get started with Captain Sion. Okay, we've pushed him back out the way. Three cavalry, not including the general. I have two archers. I mean, it's just all javelins. I mean, I might actually just try and go for Anulond. If I go to the bridge, can I see Anulond's garrison? A bit. Alright. Let's see if we can get it. Let us claim this field. Protect the blood of Numenor. Unfortunately for us, our diplomat up here at Karas has been unsuccessful in negotiating a peace agreement with uh, Enidwaith. Right. Uh, okay, let's see what happens in turn 77. Okay, and Edwaith have not done anything. Okay, so we're going to be fighting at Minas Ithil to start ourselves off, uh, to start us off today. Uh, let's see, four archers for me, a few archers for them. Obviously, they're only going to be using one battering ram. Hopefully, we can. Break their will. Hopefully, we can get the, the battering ram glitch here. That'd be quite nice. So the enemy did have some cavalry. Okay, good. Those guys are up top first. That's what I was hoping for. So I'm going to deploy some stakes. I'm going to deploy some stakes up front here, I think. There you go. Can I stretch that out a bit? Okay, I can stretch it out a little bit if I do that. So we'll do it that way. 
Right, militia archers. There we go. Can I get the camera up? Oh, I can't. Go. Okay. You guys going there. Farm hands behind. Spearman. And your armor upgrades. Lovely. <coughs> Swordsman there. And then our general right at the back. Lovely. Okay, 59, you guys are going to go, there's no point putting you around here, not the best of angles there, although some units are going to stop there, so I might put them here actually. Right, there's no point wasting energy, you might as well just walk that, because the Mordor are not going to be in any kind of rush. So, I mean, let's just look at all of that. All of this target practice. So, they've got. A, is that one unit of cav or is that two? I can't remember from the. I think it's one. I think it just spread out. One battering ram's been left behind. Bring up the other one. Right. As soon as they get to this point, this is when my group of 59 can actually start firing. <coughs> One percent. Some of them just stumbled, apparently. <laughs> From the arrow fire, though. Right. It'll be good when a lot of these guys come over to this area where my militia archers can just open fire and have a have a, basically have a field day. <laughs> Four percent casualties now. The cavalry I'm not going to bother with because wooden stakes there. Oh, you know what I haven't done? I haven't moved these guys. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? I'm not in a rush though, so it's all fine. It's all fine. So let's go about halfway. It's a little over halfway, but that'll do. Farm hands can go out there. Spear unit on each side, I think. Where's the ram? Ah, there it is. All the way at the back. Right, 
Militia archers. Start firing away. Hopefully they are in range. All of these archers here all clumped up. 8% enemy casualties so far. Right, while that's going on, I'm thinking, actually... Come together, my, friends. my fountain guard will hold the line pretty well. So I might put these spear units... ...across here. So if in the unlikelihood that or the unlikely scenario that the uh, fountain guard all get beaten. They then have to get through the farm hands. And then they got spears to get through before they even reach my proper melee troops. Ah, some of these guys weren't in range of some of my archers. Just aim for that pile. Get that percentage up. Any of the guys, I'm hoping that this lot are going to cause a glitch for us. I've got all my militia archers and my one of my rangers shooting into this pile over here. percent sounded like we hit a couple of cavalrymen there They're attacking us. So let's aim for those orc archers right in the middle still going. I should probably retreat my militia now, I think. There is a lot of orc maulers stuck there, so I'm hoping that that's going glitch to out, glitch out the battering ram unit. Twenty-nine percent of the enemy army dead already. They're attacking us. They're attacking. All right, you guys. Retreat back there. We've got a couple more arrows to fire. Rangers. One of the militia can fall back as well now. This unit is still having some fun. Oh my days, look at what we've done down here. <laughs>
33%. That's a third of the enemy's army is gone. Oh, the Southron Warband have turned their backs as well. Serve the Orcos so they'll take more damage. said I was hoping for a glitch it apparently appears apparently appears it appears that we have a glitch the ram cannot attack because of these fine gentlemen curses the enemy oh. are battering Hold down on. our gates did I speak too soon yes I did <laughs> god damn it sods law that is absolutely sods law it's alright, all my archers got their ammunition used up and have now retreated. Pass their eyes. The enemy's ram is through our gates. So I've done I've done the job that I wanted to get sorted at the start. I thought that the ram wouldn't have worked because there's all those orc wallers. They must be from another unit then. Ah, uh, that's a shame. The enemy have the walls. But to our defense all, right. all will be lost. We actually get to see our damage here. Oh Wow. Militia archers did good. See, as long as the enemy are grouped up like that, the militia archers are pretty decent. <laughs> so they've definitely earned their silver chevrons. That cavalry is running forwards, which is good. As long as it keeps running forwards, we might be able to take him out with our stakes there. Uh, dude, you are stuck outside. Get moving. And, oh. Couple of them. Is it a couple of them? Yeah, literally a couple of them ran into the stakes. That's it. There's the enemy captain. So he's not going to be uh, running in now, is he? Damn it. Oh, hold on. He's running around. Is he going to charge forward now? Is he charging forward? I don't think he's. I don't think he's going to die though. No, he's running past the stakes. I think didn't he? No, he didn't. He ran straight into the middle of them. Oh, well done. I'm saying well done. I mean, well, yeah. I guess. I guess I am meaning well done. <laughs> Mountain Guard just had to hold out for a little over half the time limit. Shield bearers, or territorial guardsmen. I like to call them shield bearers. Look at the size of those shields. Although, to be fair, actually, the... Um, oh, which guys is it? The Lebanon Guardsmen. Their shields are massive. I can't see anything. Look at all the dust coming up from there. Oh, let's stop. 40%. Enemy captain has been slain. Oh, lost uh, another fountain guardsman. Unfortunately, I can't zoom in on the fight because of uh, the way the camera works here. Around the uh, around gateways. If you zoom in, you can just see all my fountain guard there, just stabbing away. I've lost a few of them now. they don't have anything too heavy 
Otherwise, I'd be in real trouble. I'm not too worried if these guys, if my founding guard, get literally physically get pushed backwards. Because obviously, I've got um, quite a bit standing by. Whoops. Oh dear. My, oh goodness, what have I done with the camera? Okay, there we go. Zero for 42. Well, I commend the uh, enemy troops for carrying on the fight. They've lost, you know, 42% of their force and their general, their leader. And yet they're still willing to go on. I mean, they have the advantage of numbers, so I'm not surprised they're still wanting to go on, but they had a little over 3,000 men at the start of this. They've lost close to half. Defenders of the white tree. Numbers are pretty even now. Oh, just, just a little reshuffle there. <laughs> Oh, one of the Founding Guard is straying forwards. Oh, it looks like one of the Founding Guard is stuck out there as well. Ooh, I may lose a few more Founding Guard here. Uh, considering the numbers, they're doing pretty well. Got this lot ready to go when needed. Bring the farm hands up into the rear flanks of the uh, fountain guard here. And 87. All that cavalry gone. Oh, they all retreated out and then ran back in, did they? Is that what's happened? Is there any cavalry over here? There's a few of them. 14 remaining. What's this unit out here? Orc host. Okay. Victory seems certain though for my fountain guards so far. We're at the halfway limit for the time. Yeah, trying to triple speed it is not helping the game. <laughs> right, I need to get some of these guys to start routing. That's what needs to start happening soon. My heaviest infantry is in reserve. Excluding my fountain guard, of course. See, they're not doing too many casualties, or they're not causing too many casualties for us, but they're physically pushing my guys or making my guys step backwards. So, but you can just see through the carnage there, <coughs> excuse me, the carpet that's on the floor of orc bodies. 48%, I've lost 1% of my troops. Oh, what's going on there? Oh, some stuff's broken. few units have broken that. Now, I'm not going to chase, obviously, because their entire force is just waiting out here. So, if anything does retreat, I'm actually going to let it go. Which is not a very common thing for me to do. A better view from this side? Yes, we can. Look at that. Look at them all. Alright, Mordor, what's your next move? We're going to come through the 
tunnel next. Looks like Moran and Guard. And Orc Host. Second wave. Found and Guard are ready. Here we go. <clears throat> I like that the farmhands are commanded by a couple of bandit units. That's quite cool. Oh dear, camera. Oh, cavalry's going to get involved in this one as well. <clears throat> they're <trying> f <coughs> Excuse me, they're going to try and force their way through, potentially. Oh, it apparently is working as well. I've got my farmhands there to back up my guys, but. Could take a few casualties here, actually. Yes, farmhand. Only half the enemy force remains. Nice, fifty percent. Farmhands have provided some much-needed support there. They blocked this bit up. Yeah, the, the cavalry walking through definitely. Knocked a hole in my uh, Phantom Guard's line there a bit. How are you charging us? Jeez. Yeah, that orc ran through. He's now surrounded by four farmhands. Dead yet, though. It's one percent still, fifty-two percent for the enemy. Goodness me, the camera and the, the frame rate drops as well. Ooh. Right, here comes a load of a load more orc host, and I think I saw some marauders in there. Getting their way through. Oh, goodness me, the camera. So I've got one there. There's some more. So perhaps I should move a spear unit forwards. Just to help a bit more. Push my line up a bit. We're getting shot at by the enemy archers as well. I think I just saw some routing going on in there. Some poor coasts, not very many, but there's some there routing. There's just so much going on in such a compacted area that the game is struggling to play it properly. 2% for 54. may want to bring in some swords actually into this fight. Perhaps bring my peacekeepers up. Pikes are doing a pretty decent job, but they're going to need a bit of backup now, I think. Down to like the last third of the time limit now. Alright, go peacekeepers. Plug this gap. Bit of melee support here. Fifty-six percent of the enemy force is gone. What's 
What's that then? Walk band have routed. have a bit more routing going on here. Shut up. <laughs> Fifty eight percent for five. Still getting a couple of uh, casualties from enemy archer fire in there, but we're uh, doing okay. It looks like once this lot breaks, that'll be uh, most of the enemy, in most of the enemy melee infantry gone. Are coming back. Uh oh. Farm hands, you are taking quite a few casualties now. Four coast are gone. See if I can get my fountain guard back. I think I've lost about 30 of my fountain guard here. Farm hands hold the enemy back. the enemy through now. 9% for 60. Yeah. This is the furthest I think the enemy have made it. <laughs> oh, there we go. They all round. Here comes some more melee. And it's basically just archers after this. That's going to get so annoying, so quickly. <laughs> so this warband is holding off my pikemen for the moment, so let's form my pikemen there. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Fountain Guard take on these warband. We can get rid of them, that'd be fantastic. Walk 
and all right they're routed having guard pull back Hundred sixty, hundred sixty orc maulers over there. Sixty-two for nine. About a quarter of the time limit to go now. Defenders of the white tree. Incoming orc maulers. Propose elf found and guard. And they're routed. Lovely. So maybe I should charge out. I don't know. Kind of want all of the enemy's melee units to leave first. Maulers there. Those guys are all retreating. So it looks like pretty much all of their melee troops have retreated except for one group of orc hosts. All other melee units have gone. So, should I sit around and wait or should I go out and hit them? They're only orc archers. Melee units definitely gone. Yes, they have. All right. Let's get out there. I am going to take a few casualties here from the enemy archer fire, but I'm hoping yeah, they're considered fighting now, so... The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Right, they're fighting now, apparently. forward. Come on, don't be shy. So we can get around them there. A couple of percent since charging out. Enemy has lost more, though. Those archers have been forced back. 
Right, let's surround these guys. See if we can get these guys to break on both flanks. Fourteen for seventy-one. Bit of a risky move charging out, but uh Oh goodness me. There we go. Appears to be paying off. <clears throat> okay, these guys are surrounded. Chopped up. 50 orc archers out on the bridge, being a bit idle. Okay. Maybe I should have just waited around, but oh well. This makes it more fun. My entire force. Oh, hello. Almost my entire force now is attacking these last archers. Three minutes have started. Oh, my general's bodyguard have broken the, the Uruk line. There we the go. Field. Lovely. Run them down. It's Sally Forth. They're still fighting. I haven't got anywhere to go, though, to be fair. Well, it said I can end the battle, so the enemy are we'll do that. Utterly vanquished. This is a great victory worthy of only the mightiest of generals. Fountain Guard, 632 kills. 340 for my Archer Militia, 321 for my Archer Militia. 368 for Ithilian Rangers. Uh, where are my other Ithilian Rangers? There they are. 261. Pretty good, pretty good. Look at that empty banner. Push them all the way back. Ah. Now we have Minas Tirith to deal with. So one of the one of the armies can't get involved because they're attacking at night. This guy, a bit of cavalry, and this guy, a lot of cavalry. So as was advised, wait, who's he? Oh, okay, 
his bodyguard. I, for some reason, I suddenly thought maybe he was a, uh, a faction leader or something. So two generals. Now, as has been advised in the past, deploy my stakes at the base and leave a couple of the garrison units down there to, to force the enemy cavalry to charge through. So that's what I'm going to try this time. Back up to the top to start with. Put everything up here. Units, march. All the way down to the gate again. So. Forward. Let's deploy Advance. some stakes there. Deploy march. some stakes march. there. I wonder if it would be... Because there'll be a lot of enemy cavalry charging through, so let's... I'm thinking maybe we put some more stakes back here. Forward, deploy stakes! Pick up your bows, countrymen! Forward, deploy stakes! March, deploy like that. stakes! So I'll have two waves. So I've got two Gondor defenders that can defend down here. When they break, I'll put another two here. But the enemy will charge through. Maybe. Or actually, maybe I'll split them one, one on each. One on each, I think it'll be better. And then I've got two defenders I can use in the, in the center. So. Let's... Oh, my archers up like that. Lovely. Put a defender each down here. Excellent. Number two up here. Can this guy deploy stakes when he's in the deployment phase? No, he can't. So I wonder if maybe I should get one of my archers back up top. So I can at least deploy one set of... Actually, no, I don't think it's going to really matter, is it? Now, nah, I'll leave them where they are. If the enemy cavalry makes it through both those stakes, then obviously we've got a problem. So got those guys. I've got my general's archers here. Advance. Soldiers of Gondor. So all of those are in the middle. Lovely, and go. So, archers. Need all of you to run back here. Rangers and rangers. There we go. All, right, all of you guys run. See if I can move these guys around a bit more. I was able to do that last time. Okay, and then let's get that started. Melee infantry down here. Cavalry over there. Right. Now. 
see if this is going to work. <laughs> Get him to face that way for the moment. Oh wait, there's no point having them in guard mode, is there? We learnt this before. Curses! The enemy are battering down our gates! Well, they're not technically in shield wall formation anymore, but, uh... Oh, well. Bit of work around the uh, around the glitch. Glass their eyes. Oh. The enemy's around the uh, deployment issue that we get. The deployment glitching. We can't deploy in certain places. I can actually get around setting everything up. The walls are no longer ours. The enemy have taken them. Defenders are now fighting. Is the enemy cavalry moving up at all? The no, 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 they're walking. In our favor. Victory will be ours. With any luck, they'll charge. If we can at least get the couple of generals, that'd be nice. Variags are walking as well. up too far if possible please I don't want them pushing up too far because otherwise they'll be into the uh, the stakes a little too much come on cavalry move on up a bit. Sacrificed a few of my <coughs> a few of my defenders there. Come on Gary, are you gonna start running yet? He's still just walking. It's really annoying. No, no charging. Great. Great. Oh, here we go. Now you're going to run a bit. After your general has marched through the line there. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. What are we going to do? Run the outside. Lovely. I don't think we caught the enemy general. Oh, here we go. A few more kills, maybe. Uh, this is not working out. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. That's one general down. It's one out of two. 
Barry eggs are just not moving fast enough. Although, the melee starts uh, or gets involved with the ram. Well, the ram's going back out, though. Okay. Good, the bags are just sitting there. Where's the very egg general? Oh wait, the very general isn't even a cavalryman, is he? Oh no, I'm thinking of the corsairs. I'm thinking of the corsairs. Never mind. Ignore me. There he is. He's just having a bit of fun shooting, so. Moving in. Come on. The defenders are holding to the last man, which is fine. have learned their lesson. I think. Did I get many of them? Oh, yeah, quite a bit of cavalry there. Cavalry kills. Unfortunately, this plan has not really worked out. <laughs> Good plan. Um, unfortunately, yeah. well, we got one general at least, so that's that's not too bad. It's all right for uh, for two garrison units that will replenish anyway. They've retreated. So that's it then. Barry eggs aren't going to move. battering ram. We've at least delayed the enemy. That's about a third of the time limit gone now. One enemy general gone, so that's fine. And to be fair, the majority of the enemy cavalry is gone as well for the Haradrim army. Lost pretty much everything in this little fight. Did a lot more damage here, though. 16% for 9. going. <laughs> oh, there we go. 
all dead. So I've got all my archers prepped and ready to go here on the slope. So we do quite a lot of damage here, I think. Line back a bit. Well, the glory of Bondor. Have faith in the silver tree. Look at the size of those shields, like I was mentioning earlier. Okay, we're about an hour into this. We're coming up to about an hour into this uh, playthrough, into this episode. Nearly at the halfway mark for the time limit. The Variags actually started moving again. Or, no they have not. They're still out there. They're going to wait for the Haradrim to go up top. The Haradrim. Haradrim or Haradrim? There's the battering ram right at the end. Of the uh, Harad column. Oh my goodness, the camera. <laughs> Custom maps are not the camera's friends. The good news, though, is that when the enemy army completely routes, all of my cavalry are up here, and there's no wooden stakes to worry about, so we can just charge down, run them down, and then run, then retreat back up again. Be great. Too much longer to go. Only one serpent guard made it. <laughs> That's pretty good. Ah, there's the first unit arriving. Some pikemen. You able to throw over the top? Oh, you are. Lovely. Use up their ammo first. Because when they break through the gate, they're not really going to be of much use. So really, I should have deployed some stakes back here. Thankfully, pikemen are really weak to the arrow fire. Oh, they routed. Lovely. Who's next? Anyone coming up? Over the halfway limit now for the time. We've got here Southron Warband. Shoot through the building? Yes, you are. <clears throat> yep, they all routed. And the next one is who? Oh, still the same warband. They come back. 15% we're up to now for the enemy casualties. Let's 
soon as the first arrows hit them, they routed again. Ah, now we've got some troll men. It's not a smart idea to turn your backs, Trollman. This is a custom map. I can shoot through things here. <laughs> These walls are not going to save you from my arrows. Ah, the one serpent guard. Hello. I'm not going to bother wasting my ammo on you. Ah, new Southron. The new Southron warband unit. It's like a conveyor belt of enemy targets. Look at that. Some more cells from Warband coming up. I said I'm not going to shoot you. About a third of the time limit left now. Let's aim for these pikemen. See how many of these guys we can get to retreat. There's three units all bundled up here. There's the battering ram at the back. Imagine if we made the trollmen retreat, that'd be hilarious. I made them rout. <laughs> or if they, they can't attack because they're that snake guard unit's blocking them. That'd be even funnier. That'd be a really interesting glitch, although it apparently appears to be the case right now. It's a good thing I didn't shoot him. <laughs> oh, hold on. It was only temporary. The enemy are battering down our gates. Twenty three per cent. Well, at least we're going to ruin the enemy. One enemy army here. The enemy's ram has breached the gates. Okay. Gates down. Oh, the Varig army is on the move now as well. You see it on the minimap. At least we can shoot through the uh, gate opening as well. That's good. If we continue like this, oh, we look will at smash that. the enemy. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah! The very eggs ran through. Oh, perfect. The other enemy general has now fallen.
Oh. I was going to charge my general up, my generals up there, but uh, perhaps I won't do that now. Let's retreat my generals back. Camel riders are retreating as well. Here come some raiders. Only half the enemy force remains. Oh. 16 for 42. Lovely. Those raiders. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Oh, raiders retreated. Seven guard are completely destroyed. First of the Variag forces. I've won this battle now because the enemy just don't have enough time to get up to the town centre. But still looking pretty fun. Oh my goodness, look at all the cavalry coming in now. Position there, please. Continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Raj and Spearman are broken. Goodness, the horse up the barrier eggs are getting torn up. You can just hear the cavalry falling to the floor. And all of my arrows just concentrated into this one area where all of their cavalry is trying to get through. Wow. Obviously, that's where they're also trying to route out of as well. Which in turn has not helped them. Still got my general to use as well. Go 
black root archers. Oh god, camera. There we go. General, it's your turn to have some fun. And charge out. Try and run them down. Oh my goodness, look at the mess. Only half the enemy force remains. Wiped out half of the Variags as well. <laughs> Most of my casualties have been confined to the uh, Gondor garrison as well. Gondor defenders. We are victorious. Phew. The day has ended and spared our enemy even greater. Three quarters defeat. of the enemy army has been be killed. Such 75%. Look at that. Wow. My archer's getting a lot of kills. Gondor Defender's getting quite a lot of kills as well. 15 and 26 friendly fire casualties. Other than that... Done deal. <sighs> this is a long episode. <laughs> Two invasion generals killed. Although I think next time I'll put one arch unit in that gateway with some stakes. If the enemy army that attacks has uh, cavalry because that was a bit... I was able to hold it with all my archers and my garrison no, defenders, but... Do not. No. One... Nice clear road up northwards as well. And two. Ah, Dolamoth is sieging there. Lost fort. 
That's good. And now we're being attacked here. But unfortunately, I have definitely run out of time to do this one as well. Thankfully, it's pretty much all cavalry, so that's good. Um, yes, so next episode, then we'll start off with the Battle of Othrond. And uh, then we will progress into taking Anulond, hopefully. Let's have a little spin across the map here. Yep, no reinforcements. Lovely. So we'll attack that next episode as well. And that's about it so far. That's all the all I got planned. So I'll look at this area as well. But two battles to do next episode. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you all then.